Hey, it's Grady at Twin Creek Audio, and today I'm going to do a full analog mix down of the tracks that I recorded in the last video with the Tascam M35 mixing console and the Fostex R8 analog multi-track tape machine. This is going to be a full analog mix and I'm going to connect some outboard gear to the console to help process some of these tracks. This is going to be a lot of fun and you're also going to see how I connected some outboard processing to the console to do this full analog mix. I'm going to do the analog mix down from the Fostex R8 analog tape machine through the Tascam M35 analog mixing console. I'm going to use the same tracks that I recorded to the tape in the last video and also the video before that where I set up a lot of this equipment connecting the Fostex R8 to the Tascam M35 mixing console. So make sure to check those two videos if you're curious about how the tracks we're going to use in this mix down video were created. I have added some external processing equipment to the mixer for this video, but I'm going to start with how things are set up on the mixer. Now in the last video when I was tracking, I was using this monitor section of the console to create the monitor mix and then using the main channels to send the signal to tape so that we had independence for our monitor mix so that our monitor mix changes would not affect the level going to tape. Today we're in mix down mode, so I have all of the main channels set to tape. And so that our tape returns are coming down the main channels now. And I have all of the tracks that I'm using assigned to a pair of subgroups. In this case, it's one and two on the blue and green buttons here, these two subgroups here. So all of our tracks are coming down the main channels now. We didn't use any EQ at all on the board when we were tracking this, but I'm using some EQ today. So the tracks come down, go through the faders, and go to this pair of subgroups. On the M35, these subgroups don't have a direct path to the master, so you have to switch two of the tape monitor section channels over to bus, and of course pan those hard left and right, and then turn up the level there, and then that will send our master bus, which I'm just using this pair of subgroups like it's the master bus. So we have to use this to send it over here to our control room headphone and all of that. And that's with the M35. Most consoles will have assigned switches from your subgroups over to your master. On this one, you have to go through these channels up here by setting them to bus. And you can see that I've also set all the rest of these monitor channels to off. So we're not using any of these tape monitor channels except for these first two. And that's just to feed the master section so we can hear it basically. So I've added some external processing equipment to the mixer for this final mix down. First of all, I connected the ART dual limiter to the inserts. They're labeled Access, Send, and Receive on the Tascam M35, and they're on RCA connections. So I just use more of the RCA to quarter inch snake that I'm using to feed the master to the digital system to capture the audio for the video. So I have drums on tracks one and two, and channels one and two now have the ART dual limiter on the insert, so I can add some overall compression to that stereo drum sound that I have. I've also patched in the DBX163X compressor on the bass guitar here, again using the inserts or access send and receive jacks on the back of the console and some adapters to go from RCA to quarter inch. The final thing that I've connected to the console for the final mix is a reverb unit. In this case, I use the New X Atlantic Delay and Reverb pedal. This pedal is perfect because it has a line level switch to go from plus four to minus 10. So I have it set to minus 10 to match the levels of the M35. And I again used some quarter inch patch cables and some RCA to quarter inch adapters. And I connected the effects send to the input of the New X Atlantic Delay and Reverb pedal. And then I connected the two outputs left and right for stereo to two of the effects receive inputs on the M35. Now I can blend the effects into the two subgroups I'm using for my final mix right here with the effects receive knobs. And these can be sent to either the monitor or to program, which are the buses. In this case, since we're doing a final mix, we're gonna send the effects return to program. It's not like if we were just using this monitor section and we just wanted to hear the reverb but not print it. We actually want this reverb to appear 
in our final mix down, so we're adding it to program by having these two buttons here down. I'm gonna isolate some of these so you can hear them by pressing the solo buttons. And remember the bass guitar compression is the DBX163X that's right there at the top right of the screen. So let's hear some of these individual tracks and what they sound like from tape through the console with the compressors on them. I'm adding a little bit of EQ and on the drums I'm just cutting some extreme highs from the right side of the kit where we had some really loud cymbals and cutting a little bit of the same on the left side of the drums. I'm boosting some low end on the entire kit because it's all blended together on these two channels. So boosting some around 120 hertz to add a little bit of punch to that low end on the drum set. On the acoustic guitar, I'm adding a little bit of high mids around 6K to get the acoustic to sparkle a little bit. And then I'm actually removing a little bit of boxiness in the low mids around 350, maybe it's 300. Yeah, about 300. On the bass guitar, I'm removing a little bit of upper mids and boosting some 60 Hertz. On the electric guitar, I'm removing some very high mids to make it sound a little bit smoother. So we have a fully analog mix, except for the reverb, which is probably digital, but I'm using a guitar pedal, so that kind of counts too, right? All right, here we go. Well, the Tascam M35 has really impressed me. The sound is really good and it's actually very quiet for something that's vintage like it is. The Fostex R8 tape machine is a lot of fun to use. It's the smallest and cutest analog multi-track that I've ever used. It actually sounds pretty good and the transport's really accurate and quick, mainly due to the 7 inch small reel size so it doesn't have to work as hard. So it's really a lot of fun to use. You can let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, make sure to check out all the links in the video description. Check out the end video links because watching other videos really helps me out here on the channel. 
All those other links in the video description are to music that I've produced or been a part of, and of course those also help support this channel. Thank you so much to everyone out there for watching my videos. Thanks to all the new subscribers. We've got quite a few here now on the channel. I hope that the channel keeps growing and I can keep bringing you videos that are informative and entertaining. So thanks so much to everyone for watching. I hope you all have an excellent and wonderful day, night, evening, weekend, weekday, hour, minute, second, nanosecond, whatever it is you're having, have a good one. Thanks so much for watching.